trouble from the sky. Birds are a delight to watch and to listen to. But sometimes they can also be harmful if not controlled. Birds feeding on ripening grain, such as the red-billed quelea, are known to be very damaging to rice, and in Africa small farmers have few options to manage them. Traditionally, women, along with their children, run up and down in the field, shouting, waving, clapping hands, throwing stones, and sometimes trying to scare the birds off with rattles and drums. Children often miss school, as they are busy chasing birds off their parents' rice farms. Farmers in Senegal and Mali attribute 10 to 15 percent crop loss to birds. Annual surveys over several years in the Senegal River Valley, a key rice belt in West Africa, show that farmers consider weeds and birds as the two most important pests in irrigated rice production. The CGIAR research program on rice called GRISP identifies birds as the second most important biotic constraint in African rice production after weeds, based on farmer surveys in 20 African countries. According to Dr. Matty DeMont, Africa rice economist, there are limited recent and accurate estimates of the rice crop losses inflicted by birds. Since bird-inflicted losses are a major obstacle to the development of intensive rice production, in the Senegal River Valley, Dr. DeMont tried to estimate the losses. His study indicated that birds cause more than U.S. $9 million in losses in the Senegal River Valley per year with an annual bird damage of 13.2% of potential rice yield, during the wet seasons from 2003 to 2007. The study also indicated that losses reach $18.6 million when pressure from birds is highest. Moreover, farmers indicated that traditional bird scarring methods at high bird pressure are not effective. Dr. DeMott's study suggests that monitoring controlling bird populations by applying of ice on a large scale and insurance measures against massive invasions are urgent. In an Africa rice survey near St. Louis, Senegal, farmers said that if they managed their weeds in their rice fields, they would have fewer bird attacks. Dr. Yona Rodenberg, Africa rice weed scientist, found out that the farmers were right. His experiments showed that weed-free fields discouraged birds. Weedy fields attracted birds because they fed on weed seeds, found shelter in the weeds, and perched on the weeds to eat the rice. In general, birds can be kept away from rice fields by following good agricultural practices. In an interview at his farm in Uganda, Professor Morris Agangaladago said, Three things that challenges rice production here. One, timing in terms of weather. If you plant a bit late, it gets dry in June, July here. And, and, and the crops get stressed. The other one are buds. Now, we planted very early, the buds are not a problem. If you plant and the rice is mature August, September, you have a terrible bad problem. So we kind of delay the second rice crop so that they mature October, late October. Again, if you delay up to the second week of November, then you get long on grasshoppers, senene. Uh, they sweep through here for about two weeks. In addition to keeping fields weed free, planting early maturing rice varieties, experimenting with different planting dates, and avoiding open water in the middle of rice fields are recommended to farmers. Also, the removal of nesting, perching, and roosting sites around the field can reduce the number of birds. Reflective ribbons or use video or cassette tapes and nets have been found to be effective, too. In some places, Farmers use large nets to catch birds or sound cannons and scare crows. However, birds quickly get used to such methods. Therefore, farmers are advised to combine the techniques. Sometimes broad-spectrum poisons are used to kill destructive birds. 
However, aside from damaging the environment and human health, these also kill birds that do not eat grain. Alternatives to these harmful pesticides, such as bio-repellents for birds, are now increasingly being promoted across many countries in Africa. According to Agnes Mbabazi, General Manager of Hangzhou Agrochemicals Limited in Kampala, Uganda, the major challenge that we have in rice usually is the weeds and the birds. And uh, because we do not have the manpower to keep uh, fighting the birds and chasing after them, we've introduced this new chemical called Badoff. It is a repellent and it's a food grade. It is not harmful to human beings, it's not harmful to the birds. Uh, the way it works is that it scares off, it repels the birds when they come to the field. Now, when we advise farmers, this chemical is best sprayed when there's no rain. When the rain comes, you have to spray more regularly because when it washes away the chemical, then the efficacy reduces. In addition, scientists are continuously working with farmers to help develop earth-friendly okay. tools to protect rice crops from birds. Okay. However, Dr. Demott points out that, if one farmer scares birds from his field, these birds only move to adjacent fields. His study recommends that policymakers treat regional bird control as a public good towards increasing domestic rice production as well as ensuring that children go to school instead of chasing birds. For more information, visit www.africarise.org.